When I was a kid, I wondered how dreams worked. And this was before I knew about science and religion and any of the fancy stuff. Kids think solely on intuition. I thought, back then, that dreams were mirrors. I thought they were special mirrors that showed you what your eyes couldn't see. We like to think that we understand ourselves, that there are things only visible to the outside. And as it turns out, the heart is more transparent than you think. Fourteen days. I count the number one by one on my fingers until I reach ten and cycle around. Tracing the time that's passed since I first met Myra. I must have always known on some level. Lilia never acted that way around me. I tried to see it, but was actually never there. And Lucas? He's the one who invited her to our science project group. He's the one who said she might be his type, even if he was just kidding. You can see it in the way he handed her stuff. You can always, always read someone's heart by looking at the way they hand out rulers and erasers and calculators. They always avoid touching fingers. Well, that's all I kept in hindsight. I tried to open my eyes, but they refuse. The sunlight wafts through my eyelids. Oh. Right. The bookmark. I'd almost forgotten. It was from last spring. Our local bookstore held a short story contest for publicity, and Lucas wanted to help out. But being more of an artist than a writer, and not having enough story material for a cover page, he made an abstract design for a bookmark as a present. Maybe he went through a few drafts along the way and kept an extra for himself. Either way, I'm only guessing. The topic barely came up in the group. Maybe it was embarrassing for both of them, even back then. A final chuckle surfaces on my lips. Of course it was embarrassing. Of course. Things were set in motion long, long ago. The world frozen still. A scarlet sun that I'll never forget. She shakes her head. Sorry. I'm sorry, but there's already someone that I like. And then she walked away. Simple as that. Come to think of it, there's a piece of the story that slipped my mind, back when I was trying not to think about it. A few seconds after she passed by me, the red ribbon she wore in her hair drifted down to my hands. But I don't remember what I did with it. She must have gone looking for it and picked it up. I was too broken to care. That's it. That's the whole story. That girl does look like a lot more like Myra. It's unlikely, but could they be? It would make sense, wouldn't it? The girl I fell for didn't know me well, but she could certainly dig up personal info if she wanted to. Maybe she's just toying with her ex admirer's heart. No. No, 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 no. 
She won't lie. She wouldn't. But then why hasn't she told me who she is? Screw it. As far as I know, Mara's connection to that memory only goes as far as the ribbon. And surely the manufacturer produced more than one. I got a job to do today. I'm sure as hell going to do it. Here goes. I pull open the blinds. The sun is shining and the icy air wipes away my anxiety. It looks like the back door is propped open by a piece of wood. I check my watch. 8.58. I was waiting. Hey. I'm glad you came. Did you really think I wouldn't? Of course not. Shall we get out of here? Sounds like a plan. You lead the way. Now this is a change of pace. I don't mind taking the lead, but I have no idea where to go. Uh, I'm not sure how to say this, but... You've never been on a date before, have you? So blunt. It's alright. This is my first time too. We'll figure it out as we go along. Your smile is reassuring. Alright then. I don't know where we're going, but let's go. Gotcha. My cheeks turned red already. We arrived downtown and I realized that I don't know which direction to walk in. You're not the improv type, are you? Can't you tell that just by looking at me? Oh. What's your eh? You weren't supposed to agree. Well... Hmm. I don't know. Wanna go get a I started with embarrassment. Uh, what was that? Um, hey, stop looking at me like that. It's harder than it looks. Oh, really? I thought guys always talk about clever pickup lines. But those aren't just jokes. Normal pickup lines are a million times harder. Besides, it's easy for you to say. You're confident around me, but you'd react the same way if you were talking to a guy like you like. A tiny car horn can seize my words. Luckily. Yeah, anyway, not everyone is as comfortable with the opposite sex as you are. You know, I wasn't always like this. Really? Yeah, definitely. I used to be really shy around boys, and I'd always hide behind my glasses when someone tried to make eye contact. This is the wrong time to be imagining her with glasses, but I can't help it. I guess you've grown up then. No, not really. I think I'm only like this around you. That's... Uh, wait, what? Uh, because you're just so easy to tease, see? Okay, that's it. We're going to see the most gory horror movie in the theater. You won't even be able to speak. Oh, that's what you were trying to say before. Uh, I... I well, uh, I mean, that's what we're supposed to do, right? Yeah, but it's a bit too plain if you ask me. Movies are said to be the ideal date spot, but I don't get it. I'm 
Aren't you supposed to actually watch the movie? I know. It's pointless, right? I mean, it's a waste of good movie to watch it when you're not focused. And if it's not a good movie, it won't even be fun. It's not like the girl will actually fall asleep on your shoulder if it's boring. If anything, it'll just make the conversation awkward after it. Uh... I'm not sure if I want an answer to this question, but why do you know all of this? So, yeah, let's keep walking and see what comes up. Yeah, uh, let's do that. So, is there anything you want to buy? Like what? I don't know. I'm asking you. Did you already buy Christmas presents for everyone? Uh... That's right. Christmas presents. You forgot, didn't you? No, I was going to go out, but then something happened and I... Has anyone never told you that you're a terrible liar? No, I actually thought I was a great liar. <laughs> Sorry, but you're hilarious when you're nervous. Take my word for it. You're a terrible liar. Oh, Mark. Shout out my name isn't going to make me believe you. Just don't try to become a spy, alright? I hate to see what happens if you get caught. First of all, what makes you think I would get caught? Touche. Don't forget, I'm more fit than I look. True, but athletes can only save you if you don't get tricked. I'm not half as gullible as you. And the moment they're lured you in, trap, and that falls from the ceiling and the guards surround you. Well, I could just cut the rope with my daggers and escape into the shadows. What kind of spy carries a dagger with them? And then just buy? I. Ah. Uh, wow. Well, I really don't have a comeback for that. It's okay. I'm sure I'll see something equally incomprehensible soon. That's reassuring. Oh, look at this one. It's even shinier than the last one. Even a crow wouldn't get this distracted looking at jewelry. It's not my fault if they're shiny. Uh, I guess I should just leave her be. Ah, look, look. I'm looking, but all I see is shiny metal. But it's shiny. Meyer points to the necklace that looks the same as every other one. Don't take this the wrong way, but do all girls act like this around jewelry? Well, most would use a wider variety of adjectives. But come on, don't any of them look pretty to you? I'm sure your aesthetic sense isn't that underdeveloped. Try as I might, all I'm seeing is a collection of stones. But if I imagine her wearing one of them... Oh boy. Thinking about something dirty? Uh, what makes you think that? Okay, fine, but it's nothing that bad. I was just imagining you wearing one of these. That's all. Huh? I didn't think you'd actually say it. Do really seem that spineless? Yeah, you do. Sorta. It's not always true. You... You look cute with one of these. Hey, what's with the sun confidence boost? Uh, that shouldn't be a bad thing. No, it's fine. It's just... Ah, uh, never mind. She isn't the only one who's blushing. Um, did you want to try it on? You sure? Well, why not? Not that I can afford something like this, but... Thanks, so 
give it a try. So, what do you think? Mara pulls on a simple but elegant necklace, posing like a model. Maybe this one be, would be better. This time she tries a less formal design. I know we agreed not to talk about price, but the more I look at it, the more it hurts me to know that in a few minutes you won't be wearing it anymore. Or, I mean, because you look so happy trying it on, I don't want... Thanks. She stops me from stirring. For what it's worth, it really does look good on you. She does a little twirl in place. I like it. My mom has a silver one stored away, but she said she wore it a lot in college. It's subtle. But it looks good. You know, in a non-elegant sort of way. Stylishly plain, with an air of childishness. That have sounded better in my head. I think I know what you're trying to say. Good, because I barely know what I was trying to say. I know what I meant to, it, though. It's fancy, but not too fancy. And it has a feminine appeal that suits you. Um, you think I have a feminine appeal? Uh, no, not that. I reply automatically. I mean, the necklace is feminine and... So you don't think I have a feminine appeal? No, it's not that either, but... Mm. <laughs> gotcha. Uh, let's go. In a hurried and ineffective attempt to escape my embarrassment, I grab her hand and pull her outside. Just where do you plan on going, Mr. Stylishly Plain? Somewhere where I won't have to suffer this kind of abuse. Sorry about that. Don't worry about it. When we should be apologizing, I wish I could buy it for you, but... Forget it. But no shopping is a better date activity than regular shopping, anyway. I mean, it's... She's interrupted by a growl of her stomach. Hers, to be precise. I wonder what that could mean. I think it was a train. Okay, fine, you win. Can we eat? Only if you really want to. Huh. Especially since it sounds like you can't wait any longer. Uh, I guess she can't argue when she knows I'm paying. Time flew by quickly after that. I tried not to think too hard about what that meant, what we were being led toward. But I failed. Obviously. I'm tired. We've been on our feet for most of the day. Wanna go somewhere to rest? Yeah, I think so. There's a nice city park somewhere around here. Come on, let's go sit down. Hmm. It's a nice evening. You're right. We sit by side by side on a freezing cold bench, the sunset poking at my peripheral vision. The air is heavy. Have you even dead in my dreams? Mara's hand rests on the bench an inch from mine. Her fingers twitch from time to time, but they don't reach out. Neither do mine. There's no turning back from here, is there? There's no turning back from the moment we met. Well, either way, it's certainly too late now. I paused before every sentence. I had to push the words out. 
and reefs don't vanish, you know. They fade, but they don't vanish. Their weight. They aren't always a weight. I know. They're not all bad. They can't get rid of them. Good or bad, they end up in the same place. What do you think happens when you take a good memory of someone and turn it into something bad? What do you think is going to be left over? I'm sorry to have dragged you into this, Mark. It's not your fault. You can't even begin to imagine. I glanced sideways at her, sun in her hair. You remember, right? You remember when I asked you to stay with me until you regained your memories? Yeah. She smiles vaguely at the distance. I hadn't thought of what that would entail. I hadn't thought of anything. I'm sorry. I've been selfish. I shouldn't have made you think about her. No, d don't say that. How can I not say that? I, I, I didn't tell you anything. I dragged you around, played with your head, and you put up with me even though I'm like a stranger to you. If you call yourself a stranger, I'd hate to see what you call my classmates. What? I mean... I mean... You can't just decide by yourself that your actions are selfish. There are two parts to that judgement, right? The person you were being selfish toward doesn't think you're being selfish, then... But... What I mean is, you're not a stranger to me. That isn't your decision to make. Don't call yourself a stranger. You're not kidding. Of course not. Come on. Do you really think I'd be here if I didn't care about you? I woke up at 8 a.m. 8 a.m. That's... Redness surges through Myra's cheeks. You're important to me. She goes without saying that it hurt me if you left. I'm sorry. You don't have to. I'm sorry! She hides behind her hands. I. I made a mistake. I'm sorry. All I wanted was something simple. Something simple. Something so, so simple, but I... Her hair covers her face, and they feel a faint trembling through the air. You're being too hard on yourself. I told you, you didn't hurt me. But... No buts. Doesn't matter. I made a mistake, Mark. I told you, it's... It's not alright. Her trembling body comes to a halt. You're a good person, just like I remember. You're a good person, but I... Tell me then. Tell me why you came here. I just want to see if my scars were gone. A sharp wind whistles through my Tianti Park. And did you find your answer? Yeah. Yeah, I think I did. It's cold. Her hand is cold in mine, but a warm in time. 